What's going on everybody? I've got some awesome news for you guys and right after the news we're gonna get to talking about awesome Gen 3 Pokemon and a couple other Pokemon that get evolutions in Gen 4. So why are we talking about Gen 4 so early guys? Because you need to save up these awesome Pokemon, good IVs, candies, and that Stardust so that way when it comes for Gen 4 time guys you're gonna be ready. I'm talking about Magnezone, I'm talking about Rhyperior, we're gonna get into all that. But first guys, you need to know about the amazing Santa Monica Pokefest this 2018. Yes, it's coming up so quick guys, only like a week. January 14th at Santa Monica Pier, we are having a Pokemon Go YouTuber meetup. So many cool people are gonna be there guys. I'm so excited to be one of the people taking part in this. Take a look at this flyer. You guys can see there's gonna be so many awesome PokeTubers there. We've got Mystic7, Trainer Tips, Prodigy's Nation, JT Gilly, Myself, Mr. Six, Elijah Watts, Scott Wu Go, Pope Dave, Dark Matter Wolf, Sinbad, DX1, and of course, you're also going to have Hobby Gaming. My friend Nick Orlando is going to be there. You know him as Saint Nick. And possibly even my friend Matt Iyer is going to be there too, guys. And also my friend Valeska, who you guys have seen in my uh, gift exchange video, is going to be there too. There's going to be so many cool people there, guys. Everybody, like all YouTubers from all over the world, it's gonna be a crazy awesome meetup, guys. And I can't wait to meet all of you there. So, uh, definitely, guys, if you can make it, please try to be there. If you can't, I will be going live as much as possible while I'm in California. I'll be there for a few days, guys, but definitely you can count on a live stream at the meetup. So, if you can't make it, guys, don't sweat it. Just hit the bell notification icon and we can go live together straight from the meetup. So I will see you there in person or live. Now, let's go talk about some Pokemon. Okay, let's talk about Pokemon that get some sweet evolutions and baby Pokemon. Now I know you guys are thinking like, wait, why are we talking about Gen 4 already? We just got started on Gen 3. Well guys, a lot of Gen 3 Pokemon get sweet evolutions and they get baby Pokemon too. Like what? Well, did you guys already get Why Not and Azorel in these eggs? Yeah, you know that you have to hatch a Zorrel and Why Not to complete your Gen 3 Pokedex right now. However, there are some new baby Pokemon in Gen 4 that are coming, like Bonsly. Bonsly is the baby Pokemon of Sudowoodo. Now you guys remember Sudowoodo from Gen 2. So Pokemon from a lot of other generations, even Gen 1, gets a baby Pokemon, guys. Guess what it is? Chansey. Chansey gets a baby Pokemon called Happiny. How cute is it? <laughs> It's adorable. So what that means, guys, is this is a lot more chances for you to get good IV Pokemon in their baby form. That way, you can get a good CP, good IV baby Pokemon and evolve it into their next stage. And then you can boost it up with Stardust and all kinds of stuff, guys. So baby Pokemon, kind of annoying at first, but when you realize that you can use these Pokemon for candies and better IVs, you guys are gonna love all these new baby Pokemon. Let's talk about them. First, you have to know that why not Azorel, Elekid, and Magby are all hatched from 5k eggs. You can currently start hatching these right now, guys, so try to get all four of these Pokemon if you don't already. A lot of people need to still have Azorel and Why Not to complete their Gen 3 Pokedexes. Remember that Azorel evolves into Meryl, and Meryl evolves into Azumarill. These are water and fairy type Pokemon, except Azorel is only normal type, guys. Next up, for Why Not, did you know that it evolves into Wobbuffet? <laughs> so if you already like Wobbuffet, then you're gonna like Why Not. In Gen 4, guys, you have quite a few baby Pokemon. Happiny, Mime Jr., Bonsly, Munchlax, and Mantike. Now, I know a lot of you guys love some of these Pokemon and hate some of these Pokemon, but let's go one by one. First, we've got Happiny. Happiny evolves into Chansey, and Chansey evolves into Blissey. So if you need a good Chansey, and you haven't really been able to find very many Chansey in eggs, hopefully we can find more Happiny hatching for us. So that way we can have more Blissey candy to power them up later. Next up, we've got Mime Jr. Now I'm not sure how they're gonna implement Mime Jr. in the game, because of course, we understand that Mime Jr. will evolve into Mr. Mime. However, currently in Pokemon Go, Mr. Mime is a regional Pokemon for the European region. So, perhaps they can region lock Mime Jr. eggs just to be in the same region that Mr. Mime is available. However, it's going to be interesting if they try to rotate the regionals or maybe Mr. Mime eggs become available globally. We're going to have to wait and see what happens here. However, 
Look at how cute Mime Jr. is. It's just adorable. It's a baby clown. I hope you guys like clowns. A lot of people are scared of them. But who's gonna be scared of Mime Jr.? It's so cute. We've got Munchlax. I know a lot of you guys love Snorlax. Munchlax evolves into Snorlax. So if you haven't been able to hatch a good Snorlax yet, maybe you can hatch a good Munchlax. Munchlax is without a doubt going to be a fan favorite. I can see a lot of people having him as a buddy, trying to get more Snorlax candy. If you already liked Soda Wudo, like Mystic 7, I know he's gonna like this one. You're going to love Bonsly. Soda Wudo's baby Pokemon is Bonsly, so that's also coming to Gen 4. So that might be cool if you really like Soda Wudo and you need those extra Bonsly candies so you can start powering up your Soda Wudo. And next up, we've got Mantyke. Mantyke evolves into Mantine, or Mantine, however you pronounce it, everybody pronounces it differently. But guys, Mantyke is really adorable, however, extremely useless. Nobody uses Mantine in Pokemon Go right now anyway. It's got a terrible typing, you know, Mantine is water flying. One shot and done with any kind of electric attack, guys. However, maybe we can use Mantyke candies to power it up so it's a little bit stronger. I don't really think anyone's gonna power it up, guys. But once again, Mantyke, just adorable. Now, let's get to the real awesome evolutions that are coming up in Gen 4. First up, we've got Magnezone. How many times have you guys seen these Magneton raids in your local area? Yes, guys, I think there's a reason why Magneton raids are even a thing. They're trying to prepare us, guys. We need Magnemite candy and a really good Magneton, so that way we can have a great Magnezone. Magnezone's an awesome Pokemon, steel and electric type. Totally a beast, definitely worth having. I actually had one teamed back in the day on my game. So Magnezone, guys, steel, electric type. Magnezone's max CP is going to be 2996. Magnezone's gonna be a pretty cool type matchup, guys, being steel and electric. I definitely wanna try to get one. So if you don't have a good Magneton yet, remember, now is the time when we have Magneton raids. So go take advantage of them and also get as many candy as you can. How many times have you hatched a Lickitung and went, oh no, it's useless? Guess what? Lickitung gets an evolution in Gen 4 and it's called Licky Licky. Another fan favorite simply because of the ridiculousness. I mean, how can you not like it? It's kind of like a silly Pillsbury, Doughboy, Tongue, Pink. It's ridiculous, guys, but it's adorable. Um, Licky Licky, definitely silly, definitely gonna be a fan favorite, definitely gonna be found in gyms. So be saving up that Licky Tongue candy so you can be one of the first people to put a Licky Licky in the gym. Licky Licky's max CP is 23.59. So be saving that Lickitung candy, guys. Make sure you have a good IV Lickitung, so that way you can be the first one to get a Licky Licky and put it into a gym. Next up, we've got everybody's probably new favorite as soon as it becomes available, Rhyperior. How many of you guys have a powered up Rhydon and that thing is a beast? I do, I know I've got a 100% Rhydon that's like fully maxed out. I bet you guys do too. Let me know in the comments how many of you guys are so excited for Rhyperior. Rhyperior is Rhydon's final evolution. So, be saving up that Rhydhorn candy, get a Rhydon, so that later on in Gen 4 you can get a great Rhyperior. Rhyperior is ground and rock type and a total beast. Basically, if you already love Rhydon, you are gonna just go nuts about Rhyperior. It is just a beefier, like, on steroids version of Rhydon. With a max CP of 3869 right out of the gate, man, this thing is a beast. How many of you guys wish that Tangela was more useful in the game, right? I definitely have found a lot of cool Tangela in the wild that know Solar Beam. They have great movesets. They're pretty tough Pokemon. They always have pretty good CPs, at least with the ones that I find. However, now it is Tangela's shot, guys. Tangela gets an evolution and it evolves into Tangrowth. Tangrowth is such a cool Pokemon. It's just kind of like a mess of vines and coolness. <laughs> But guys, Tangrowth is gonna be a beast. It's finally gonna be a usable grass Pokemon next to Sceptile and Roserade. So if you need a good grass Pokemon, make sure to save up a good IV Tangela and some Tangela candies, so that way you can power up your Tangrowth in Gen 4. Tangrowth's max CP is 3110. How many of you guys have been hatching Elekid and Magby and been like, oh no? Guess what, you are finally gonna be happy to hatch an Elekid and a Magby. Elekid, as you know, evolves into Electabuzz. Electabuzz in Gen 4 will evolve into Electivire. And then Magby, as you know, evolves into Magmar. And in Gen 4, Magmar evolves into Magmortar. Two really awesome, cool, OP Pokemon in Gen 4. These are more fan favorites, guys. I personally am Team Electivire. Let me know in the comments below, are you Team Electivire, Magmortar, or Rhyperior? Electivire's max CP is 2904. 
and Mag Mortar's Mag CP is $29.80. I gladly welcome new additions to my fire and electric team. So I think Electivire and Mag Mortar are gonna be great additions. Who's ready for some more Eevee Lucians? We're finally getting the ice and grass Eevees, guys. Glaceon and Leafeon. Now, it's gonna be curious how they do these because in the games, you had to be close to either a mossy stone to get Leafeon or an icy stone to get Glaceon. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Niantic implements these evolution items into Pokemon Go. So we're gonna have to wait and see how they do that. And then how many of you guys have a great Porygon 2 or a Porygon? You guys have seen in my live streams, I'm sick of Porygon because I already have like so many 98% Porygon 2s. I've been getting many, many, many Porygons guys. And I'm sure you have too, been hatching them left and right like me. Save those candies. You're gonna be evolving your Porygon 2 into a Porygon Z with a dubious disc later. Porygon Z has a max CP of 3072. Finally, a use for Togepi. Togepi, as you know, evolves into Togetic or Togetic, however you pronounce that Pokemon's name. And now finally, Togetic evolves into Togekiss. Yes, Togekiss, kind of a powerhouse at 3171 CP. Togekiss is a flying and fairy type, making it a very interesting type matchup. How many of you guys are sick of Apom? Well, Apom is finally getting an evolution. So it doesn't have one tail now, it's got two tails. And it kind of is a little silly. However, I'm just glad that I can use my Apom candies for something. Let's at least use it for mass evolutions, guys. Apom will evolve into Ambipom, guys. Max CP 2218, just a normal type. Honestly, I'm gonna be using these guys as mass evolution fodder. Next up, Yan Mega. This is definitely gonna be another one of those fan favorites, guys. Yan Mega is just a beast. Bug and flying type, pretty cool looking too, if I must say so. Max CP at 2873, not the toughest and definitely not the best type matchup. However, it's just a cool Pokemon and a great way to take advantage of all those Yanma candies that you've been collecting. I know a lot of people love Murkrow. Murkrow, you've been eating all of our Pokeballs ever since you've ever come out. But now we have some use for Murkrow candy, guys. Finally, we're getting Honchkrow in Gen 4. Honchkrow is really cool. It's definitely a beefier version of a Murkrow. Dark and flying type with a max CP of 2566. I know a lot of people are gonna be immediately evolving their best Murkrow. So, I know you've all been catching these Murkrow and talking about how much Murkrow candy do you have. But actually, if you have a good one, make sure you get the best IV Murkrow possible, guys, so that way your Honchkrow is actually of use. Finally, Miss Drevis is getting its evolution. Miss Magia. Miss Magius kind of looks like a witch Pokemon wearing an even crazier hat than like a Murkrow is. <laughs> a lot of people cosplay Miss Magius too, so this is going to be really cool to see people dressed up like Miss Magius. But yeah guys, Miss Drevis, honestly, it needed an evolution since day one. However, Miss Magius is the one that we've been looking for. Ghost type with a max CP of 2465. This Pokemon looks cool and I'm definitely going to be putting it into a gym. Gligar, guys. Gligar is finally getting an evolution. I know a lot of people have been so frustrated every time they hatch a Gligar, but your Gligar candy is finally gonna be of use. You're getting Glysaur. Glysaur is so cool. It's kind of like Yanmega. They just look cool. Glysaur is a flying and ground type. What an interesting combination. It's gonna be really cool to see how people use these in gyms. With a max CP of 2602, this is definitely gonna be one of those Pokemon that you're gonna be seeing around. Well guys, I hope you saved a good Sneasel because finally in Gen 4, Sneasel is getting an evolution. It evolves into Weavile. Look at how cool Weavile is. Weavile is a dark and ice type Pokemon with a max CP of 2815. And honestly, it just looks cool, just like the other ones. How many of you guys want a woolly mammoth? Because you're gonna get it in Gen 4. Mammal Swine. How cool is Mammal Swine? I actually remember Dawn in the anime had a Mammal Swine. Mammal Swine guys evolves from Piloswine, and as you know, Pile of Swine evolves from Swinub. So, I know you have seen a lot of Swinub during this past holiday event. Now is your time to use that candy, guys. Swinub candy, left and right, it's gonna go to my Mammoth Swine. How cool is it? It's just gonna be huge, taking up so much space in the gym, just kinda like a Whale Lord. It's not as big as a Whale Lord, guys, but it's gonna look awesome. I can just see it being like a huge Pokemon in a gym. I'm excited to get my Mammoth Swine. Roselia, the Murkrow of Gen 3. Currently, with no evolutions, it sure is common. But that's okay, save up all your Roselia candy, guys. Roselia gets an evolution called Roserade in Gen 4. Not to mention, it also gets a baby Pokemon called Badoo. Badoo evolves into Roselia, and Roselia evolves into Roserade. Roserade is gonna be a great grass powerhouse for your team, guys. 
Roserade is grass and poison type. And finally, last but not least, we've got Gallade. As you guys know, Ralts has multiple evolutions. Ralts evolves into Curlia, and Curlia can evolve into Gardevoir. I hope you've gotten that for your Pokedex already, for Gen 3. However, if you have a male Curlia in the game, and you expose it to a Dawnstone, Curlia would evolve into Gallade. So Gallade's really cool, guys. Whereas Gardevoir is a Psychic and Fairy type, Gallade is Psychic and Fighting type. So guys, I hope this clarifies what Pokemon you need to be looking for to have good IVs to save for later. And not only that, but make sure that you have a little bit of candy too. Don't max it out yet, unless you do have a really great IV CP Pokemon of those types. Now I'm sure your next question is, but what about evolution items? It's true, a lot of these Pokemon do require evolution items, like the Dawnstone or the Razor Fang. Take a look at this chart. Rhyperior most likely will need to have the Protector as an evolution item. Electabuzz will need the Electrolyzer to evolve it into Electivire. Magmar needs Magmarizer to evolve into Magmortar. Porygon 2 will require the Dubious Disc to evolve into Porygon Z. Togetic or Togetic, however you pronounce it, will evolve into Togekiss when exposed to the Shiny Stone. Murkrow requires a Dusk Stone to evolve into Honchkrow. Miss Drevis, also like Murkrow, needs a Dusk Stone to evolve into Miss Magius. Gligar needs a Razor Fang to evolve into Glysaur. Sneasel needs a Razor Claw to evolve into Weavile. Now some of these Pokemon guys, like Magnezone, required you to be in a certain area of the game just to evolve it. So it's going to be interesting to see how Pokemon Go implements this into the game. Maybe it just means they're going to have you walk it as your buddy so that the friendship is high. We're going to find out. And we're not even sure if they're going to use these specific evolution items in Pokemon Go. But I'm just trying to give you guys a heads up and an idea of what to expect later on and what kind of Pokemon that you should be candy farming and grinding for good IVs right now. So guys, before you go, take one more look at this awesome event poster right here. Take the time to smash that like button, hit the bell notification icon so that way you'll be notified whenever I go live. And finally, I just want to say I hope to see you guys there at Santa Monica Pier this January 14th, 2 to 5 p.m. And if I don't see you there, guys, make sure I'll see you there live. So I'll see you then and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys. See you then.